What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you've had a good start into 2019, the new year, enjoyed Christmas and the New Year's Eve party. Uh, I spent New Year's Eve in Budapest, as you might have recognized. I have shot a little video about it, but um, not too much because I want to see the city myself and not through my lens, you know what I mean, I guess. Um, so today's video is about how you can create in-camera transitions to use them in LumaFusion instead of the bad built-in transitions or way too complicated transitions you can create yourself. To shoot those clips and to edit them, all I have done is blend the shooting with the right movements and then set a simple cut between the clips and speeding the last bit and the first bit of the clip a bit up. All you need for in-camera transitions are your camera. So you don't need any special gear for it, just your camera and some planning. So what do I mean with planning? I will show you an example of the teaser video I've uploaded yesterday. Um, so as you can see, there's a pan into the video or the frame I want to show and a pan out. And of course the clip I've shot before and after this video has also be planned because I want the intro and the outro and, and these are exactly three clips I want to connect to each other so I have to plan the whole stuff I'm shooting. If you want to use in-camera transitions there are pretty much three ways you can do it. So the first is pan and tilt. You either can pan and tilt your camera fast when you want to move out of the frame and into the next frame or you go upwards, downwards or whatever. This is the first and easiest way and easy to plan. The second thing you can do to create an in-camera transition is covering your lens. I always do this to start and end my videos uh, because it just darkens the frame, so like this. I've made one example in my teaser video yesterday. This is the example. I just changed my head so you can see what I've done and that there is something new in the frame. But you can also just cover your lens with a jacket so you're, cl you're filming maybe a walking person which comes closer to your camera. Then you smooth your jacket about the lens and in the next frame the person is maybe shouldering the jacket and moving it away from the lens and walks in the other direction. Pretty cool, looks awesome, great if you are traveling, just try it out yourself, it's awesome. The last way to do in-camera transitions is to use a zoom lens. Um, this one is a bit complicated, you have to move pretty stable, the best way to use it is a gimbal, but if you don't have a gimbal just use a good camera with a good stabilization. So. You can move a few steps backward and maybe use a window or a door as the transition. I will show you an example how you can do this because otherwise it's too complicated to explain. 
So to start the clip, I'm zooming in to the object I want to shoot, in this case this house on the other side of the field. So what I'm doing now is I'm moving backwards, so I have a few steps back and zooming out. So this is the way. I have shot through a window. I made sure that there's one object right in the center so I can orientate myself on this object and then I move backward and zoomed out too so I get a different field of view and also the movement backward which is a pretty nice transition if you speed the movement up a little bit in between the two frames so the shot through the window and when you show the whole room with the window this is it for today's video I hope you guys learned a lot and will use this kind of transitions because it's pretty useful for human evolution because you know, of the reasons I've uh, mentioned before. Most of the time you don't have to use too much transitions, just like two, three or four in one video. Make sure you're not always using the same one because it gets boring. Um, the teaser was just too much but it was only a teaser to show how you can do it. Give thumbs up to the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see each other the next time. Bye!